a Ouroboros cataphractus or the armadillo lizard. So this is Chad getting some love bites from the little uh, bushneck. <laughs> He's, uh, how's it doing? Is it okay? It's, it's okay. Smallest adder species in the world, right here. And she doesn't move a lot. We've also been stopped by the cops asking what we're doing in, in broken Afrikaans that explain her. Looking for for clear money, please. Uh, this is a good gecko, and he's a uh, pachydactylus. Oh yes, we were pretty scared. That was scary. Pretty scared. Okay, awesome. So it's 5:14 in the morning, and I have just arrived at Luke's house. I'm a bit late, but this marks the beginning of our journey to Northern Cape. So if you're watching this, you're one of our first views. That's great for us because we suck so far. We're going to be pretty good as we go along, but this is our first vlog. And my name's Chad, this is Luke. He's driving, so he can't speak as much, and he's also ugly. Um, so basically, we are purpose, we're aspiring purpose. We study um, zoology at Rose University, and we've done so for um, several years now. And this is our trip to Northern Cape, because um, as people don't, many people don't know, Northern Cape has high high uh, degree of endemicity which is a lot of and diversity of reptiles so what we're trying to say is that there's a lot of reptiles there and not many guys go looking for them so we want to go and see if we can see some of the coolest reptiles in South Africa in some of the most arid places cool so we've just passed through uh, Postmanberg taking a bit of a, a wrong turn Mr. Dieter so now on 56 kilometers of a nice dirt road trying to get through to Olifantuk before Krabi so we've got thunderstorm up ahead. Oh, there's, a, there's a rogue tire on the side oh, yeah, of the road. A it's a nice tire. good sign. So hopefully weather's, weather's going to be good for a bit of a cruise tonight. Or uh, some snake activity maybe this afternoon even. This is a little Bibberin's gecko. We got in one of the cracks here. Just a little juvenile. Go to about double the size probably. We are in the middle of the Northern Cape and we just got a flat tire. This is after we took the wrong road the first time and um, yeah, well now we, we need to get to Uppington and get a replacement tire as soon as possible because we don't want to be stuck out here without a tire and there's a storm brewing right around us in a part of the world that's supposed to be dry. So it's quite an interesting day. Hopefully tonight turns up some reptiles and hopefully we can get a replacement for our tire. We are at the tire place, as you can see. This is the, what is the place we're at now? The tire place. Danny's tire place. <laughs> Danny's tire place. And we, Afrikaans, isn't up to scratch. Not, not at all. And yours? <laughs> you know what's going on. Yeah, they have our tire. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've just found this rock monitor on the side of the road, and he's not doing so well. So Luke's giving him some water to see if he can re we we'll rehydrate him, because he does not look strong at all. Seems to be pretty dehydrated. That's, that's months of not drinking any water. So We thought at first he'd been hit on the road, but he was just lying there, just completely still. Came to the northern Cape, and it's raining more than it is in the provinces where it's supposed to rain. It's been quite an eventful day. We just got our tire fixed, but it wasn't actually fixed because we got a piece of wire straight through the bottom. So now we have to make sure our tire survives long enough for us to get to Springbuck, which is 400 kilometers away, so that we can get a replacement tire. So it's been quite an eventful day. We just found a rock monitor. Um, or a half dying one, hopefully he survives and give him some water and some, some cow or some steak and it was some nice steak and he's hopefully he's going to be okay, we put him a tree and we'll see what happens next but the rain stopped, I think I might have cursed this 